Hey guys, I'm Safa here. Today we're going to be a, doing a startup and preparation tutorial and it's a part of a series of the Innerbuilds Airbus 320 which is the default free V2 version of the Airbus A320. Uh, we're going to start at Luton Airport and we have a Simbri flight plan which you can follow which the link will be below and uh, once we go to dashboard we will Click SIM brief to download it back once you've created your SIM brief profile that is and connected it with the SIM via options. And we will go to OFP. Then we will double check our route and then we will double check our takeoff fuel, which is one, two, it comes up, uh, takeoff fuel. So we go to ground. If we had an airport that had air bridges and jetways, which um, Luton doesn't, so we would normally uh, open door one and toggle jetway. But for, for now, we'll set toggle GPU, which is ground power and chocks before we do anything. Uh, we've imported our Simbri flight plan. As we can see, we can refresh the weathers here. Um, we've checked our route. Now we want to check our take off fuel halo range and we want to sim we want to import that from simbrief 2 and normally what i'd like to do is before i click apply i would like to either round it up or just put a little bit more because simbrief gives us just bare minimum and then we click apply load and we want that in instant real time um okay once we've done that we want to check our payload by going to live gross weight, which we have. And we want to enter it into the takeoff config. So we've got five, eight, 58,000. Let's pretty much round out 58,000. And we want to put that here. Okay. We can also sync it here and all the weather and wind will, uh, will be here. Um, if this is not filled in, you can't press calculate, so make sure all of these are filled in. We will calculate it now, and it will give us all our V speeds, our V1, rotate, V2, even our flex temperature, which we have to set up in the MCDU. Okay, um, we've got our takeoff trim, which is important, 0 0.5 up. So we will set that. Once it's on, we can set this. Okay, we don't worry about that for now. And we've calculated it. You can also send it to um, the MCDU once that's on. It will input all that info for you um, but you still have to do the v-speeds manually all right what should we start on we're turning on the aircraft shall we because we're all dark, cold and dark so we will start off with the uh, master switch uh, engine master switch is off yep oh we keep that in normal so one and two is off and this is in the center check the weather predicted wind shear is off we'll just move this armrest here and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see Yep, that's off. We check our gear is down, which is, and the wipers are off, which they are. Next is the battery voltage. So we want to check that our indicators are above, uh, it is 25.5, which is the minimum. So we check that they're above and we'll turn our batteries on. Then after that, we will turn on the X. Uh, external power it's available because we have our GPU connected so we will click that and all our lights will come on basically all our in uh, inside power from the aircraft is powered by the external GPU unit ground power unit let's see if we can see it connected that is this machine here so if you ever see that when you're going to board a plane it's connected by this cable it's like a generator if we were dark and we want to set up some lighting inside we'll turn on these flood lighting panels here so you can see that this is what controls this. Let me zoom out and do it. We can have this brighter, we can have it dimmer. We can also have our dome lighting, which is here. Dome, we can have that on or bright, which is these lights here, if this is too dark to see anything. Uh, so we would do that, but we don't need that on for now. Uh, we wanna align our IRSs. So we turn these all on to nav. To, and we want to do that as soon as we can because this takes eight minutes to align all three so we want to make sure these white lights are extinguished so this crew supply oxygen it says it's off now it's on we want to make sure that is on we want to see do cvr test so 
We want to see if it bleeps. Yep, it's bleeping. Now we want to change the evac to from captain purser switch to captain. So if we want to do an evac command, it's on me, right? And now we want to do test engine and APU file, which is always at the top. So we want to press test and we want to see that squid and discharge lights illuminate with bleeps. So you see it said squid and discharge. And we want to do that to all three of them. Yep, that's the APU. Then we want to do it to the fire. Okay. And we get the bleeps. We want to switch off the light. Uh, we want to do the lighting first, don't we? So strobe. Um, we go to on. Oh, we're not on. We put it to auto, which is in the middle. Uh, nav logo, we put it to one. So it's off now. Uh, one is the middle. Then we go to the seat belts, which are here. Seat belt signs. Oh, no smoke inside. It's on auto. So auto is in the middle. Emergency exit sign is armed. So when the gear goes up, those exit signs will turn off, which is by the doors, those white exit signs when it goes dun. That's what that does. Now we go over to the fuel pumps. We'll turn them on. So off, white light means they're off. To turn them on, we'll get rid of the right light. So fuel pumps, here we go. They're all on, ready for the engine to start up in a, in a little while. We'll turn on the comms and the PA overhead, which is should be this one. Make sure that's on so it can be uh, recorded in a uh, black box in a cockpit voice recorder. So we'll, that's why we make sure that's on. Now we're still waiting for our IRS's to align. See, here the ECAM here it says IRS align in five minutes. So when you first do it, it would say eight minutes. So now we've got five minutes that's left for these to all align and show us where we are. So these are inertia systems that we, uh, the gyros are spinning so we all getting three we need three of them to give us an accurate reading and um, where we are go to set our q and h so we go back to the efb and we refresh this so we're at luton which is eggw and it says our q and h is 1021 so we want to have this set up of course if we're on vaccine it'll, they'll tell us when we uh, get our clearance so 1021 but we also we need to set it here most importantly so this is like our backup one uh, one zero two one. There we go. One zero two one. That's in uh, inches. If we're going to America, uh, we want it in hectopascals up here. Because um, we're in the UK, obviously, if we're in America, we'll put it to inches. But the sim should automatically do that for you when you spawn. We need to check um, our anti-skid and nose wheel steering is on, which will be over here. If I zoom in anti-skid and it's in the on position which is up so we've double checked that and now we'll go down left on the pedal stool which is our side the captain's side and we want to check our ATC volumes and turn them up so we want to click these two VHF1 VHF2 and we want to press the button that we mainly want to call from so this is the one that we have here so if this one was clicked, we'll make sure this one was set to call. If VHF3 was clicked, we'll make sure we press this one to call. So the green light means which uh, comm system you're actually calling from. And up here shows what frequencies you're putting in. So we put in the frequencies for VHF1. This is more important for VATSIM also. Otherwise you'll be talking to nobody if you get it all wrong. Set our parking brake. It is on. We want to check that we have set our first um, dial up the top to standby. So which is, yep. And then the second one, this is to the pilot flying side. So left is captain, two is first officer. So I'm obviously in the captain seat, so I'm going to set it to one. If I was in uh, the right seat and I was the pilot flying, I would set it to two. Okay. And we want to make sure our third one is set to on which is on and we want to clear our transponder code uh, because if we're doing IFR flying the D 
default code is 2000 but if you're flying on that that same one talking to a controller they will tell you once you get your clearance which code to put in so remember to clear 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 whatever numbers they, they tell you you write that down on paper so you don't forget and then you type it in so for example 2000 and we want to check that the uh, next dial is set to above abv which means above and then we want to make sure our other ones on standby when we get to the runway and we take off we check it to tr R T A R A, which is track advisory resolution ad advisory so if we've got traffic it will tell us in ta but if it wants to tell us to climb and descend or maintain vertical speed only resolution advisory can do that for you so we're not in the air we're on the ground we put it to standby otherwise we'll get loads of traffic alert from when we're taxiing and yeah we don't want that to be super annoying in our next tutorial what we will do is um, go and set up the MCDU and I'll tell all about that otherwise it's going to be too long for one video so subscribe and stay tuned for the next uh, video in the series which is setting up the MCDU or some people call it the FMC okay thank you thanks for watching